Um, hello ladies and gentlemen, I'm in St Martin's Battery. I know it's kind of a public place, but why not film it? There aren't as many videos on it as YouTube as I expected. I was eating fish and chips here, so yeah. First off, there's a pillbox. Window, 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 window. All in the middle, this bit here. It's smelly in here, so I'll leave. There's these weird things in the window. <coughs> there's a short, small one there. There's some there. And yeah, there's the windows from the outside. See you in the next place. So, um, just ran down that hill there, didn't film it because it wouldn't look as professional. But we're in the back of the battery now. It was, um, the red bricks are more Napoleonic. No, the red bricks are World War II, and then the other, more decayed ones, are Napoleonic. Lots of this has been gated off. I'm not sure, that was probably ammo storage. Just some ventilation. Do you need a light? Uh, I can't, sorry, I can't get that to read. Those bars weren't always there. But, yeah, that's, um, I think it was ammo storage, all this. And there's this ladder that I've been climbing since, well, hold on, I either came to this place, and yeah. I'm climbing on a battery. <laughs> that goes out to the main bit of the battery. I don't have a lightsaber pattern here. Ammo storage compartments. To make it quite a good loop if it wasn't for this here. She could walk down there, then walk down there, then down those stairs and back out. Oh wait, you haven't seen it from the outside, have you? <laughs> so, yeah. This is the place where the gun would have been. Uh, one of those bricks type structure ones. There are three of these. There's no castle. So, I'm climb up there to get on top of the battery, that's not really that worth it. Yeah, I don't see many batteries with this uh, square building around it. I always used to go around here. I do actually see the local one, um, Bastion number one. What is that guy? On top. All uh, oh, that support reminds me of casemates nearby. I don't remember as much of this being revealed. Same. And that's just saying where the gun was before they actually built over it. And there's this metal thing here, I'm not sure what this is. Hmm. Not much apparently. And I nearly forgot the deep shelter. Now you can't go in here as it's gated off. And it's been gated off multiple times. But and that goes into the deep shower. Never been in it. Now, I've been into the rest of the heights, but never been in a deep shower. Um, I think this is the same as the rest, just not the cave like it has there. But yeah, that's just pretty much the same. And it's the same thing three times until you get to the pillbox at the back. Once again, more gun stuff. I skipped the second gun because it's kind of repetitive. Uh, I would film it, but my, the storage on this phone is rubbish. So, yeah. Meet you at the pillbox. Now, hi guys, I'm on top of the pillbox. If you look carefully, you can actually see the drop readout. And down there, where that fence is, will have led into the grand shaft. Um, but yeah, drop readout. Thought that it's mainly sealed off, apart from on the open days. Very interesting. I recommend it. One this month for May. Um, well, two days in a row because it's a weekend. Uh, there's these holes in the top of the pillbox roof. It's the same as the other one, just less standardised because the other one was in the wood. I would expect this one to be damaged more because it's like more open out, but it's not. Mm, it's a good thing that it's not damaged. It doesn't smell as 
bad. I remember this one smelling worse. Oh, wait, just fell. And my camera will get to, used to the light from the windows. Yeah, there we go. There's the castle and all that kind of stuff. And then there's just forestation, which should be interesting time to film in there. Um, yeah, if I film anything else, uh, I'll show you a bit. If not, bye.